Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collections. Today, folks, I got another craft holster for you guys. The whole month of October, we're doing four releases. So, if you are in the market for a holster, I strongly encourage you to give leather a, uh, a look, right? And to check out craft. Uh, as far as the leather holsters out there, you know, there's tons of them out there on eBay, Amazon. What I can tell you is that the craft quality is really duty level quality. I mean, um, you know, this is definitely a holster that can be used or a brand that can be used in any kind of commercial situation, uh, work environment. I mean, they're just durable, they're amazing, and I think you guys are going to love the brand. So, today I am going to share with you guys uh, my new piece. Uh, not a review of the piece, but uh, this is a CZ75 clone made by SAR. This is the SAR 2000. For you folks who are looking for a holster for a CZ75 clone, depending on, you know, I don't know who else makes CZ75 clones, definitely check out um, Kraft because a lot of times when you go ordering holsters for some of these Turkish brands, you don't always have the options. I don't know if, if holster companies just don't, um, I'm not sure why they don't have it in their database because SAR has been around for a while now and they make a great product. So this is an amazing, amazing gun. So let's check it out. So this one hasn't been shared on the channel yet. Uh, I got this quite some time ago. Uh, and so I just wanted to share, uh, again, the holster. So a lot of times when I order a holster from Kraft, uh, there is a delay because they're coming from overseas. I believe they come directly from, I believe it's Russia, but I forget exactly which town. Um, just kind of keep that in mind. It's not going to be a... You order and get it in a, you know, in a week sort of thing. But, you know, a little over a week, but for, for, it's well worth the wait for the quality. So, uh, for purposes of the YouTube video, I know guys who are all about safety, and you should be if you're going to handle a firearm. Uh, re, you know, remember, anytime I'm doing a video, whether it be this video or videos in the future or the past, the guns are always handled with care, and the guns are always... Uh, unloaded when I'm messing around with them, right? Sometimes I don't always say that in the video, but for purposes of uh, YouTube and, you know, their older legal stuff, uh, let's go ahead and just make sure. So I'm just going to pull the magazine out, which is empty anyway. We're just going to go ahead and slide, rack the gun, make sure we're completely empty, as you can see. Uh, so let's talk about this. So let me just show you guys the gun. Uh, amazing stainless steel SAR 2000 CZ75 clone at a fraction of the cost. Uh, my attitude when it comes to guns, I'm kind of like, my attitude towards guns are like my attitude towards watches. Uh, you don't have to spend a thousand dollars for a CZ75 when you get this for, I think it's going for about 500 bucks now. So, um, I know the professionals out there will tell me some argue, everybody's got an opinion on everything. Depends on what you're doing, depends on your job, depends on a lot of factors. So, I can tell you, I absolutely love a full metal frame gun over the polymer. Uh, it just has that weight to it. Love it. So if you haven't checked out a great CZ75 clone, definitely check out SAR 2000. So the holster, this holster I'm sharing with you guys today is, let me just pull up their website here because um, <clears throat> so I can give you guys the pricing because I think the last video I made, I forgot to mention the price. But, you know, it, you guys are a big boys. You click the link. takes you five seconds. Uh, you can see exactly what the holsters cost. But for today, uh, so I don't forget, I'm going to do it now. This is an outside the waistband holster, of course, 99 bucks. Uh, amazing, amazing quality. I am super fortunate that Kraft love, likes to collaborate with Fat Cat Collections because it gives me an opportunity to really try out these different holsters and find, you know, just experiment with the different carrying angles and options, which is what I encourage anybody who's going to everyday carry. And I don't mean like, hey, I'm going to bring my gun with me today. I mean, I'm consistently always armed. So, um... I'm armed in the house, I'm armed in the garage, I'm armed, you know, I'm always armed is the point, you know. So um, it's important to have a, a holster that's comfortable, right? As comfortable as it can be, because I don't think there's really any holster out there uh, that you can state is, oh man, this is like not wearing anything. You, you know a gun, especially a full-size gun like this, you know you have it, you know. And for a guy like me, I joke all the time, with no ass, uh, it's constantly pulling my pants down. So it, it is kind of a, you know, it, it definitely weighs into your comfort, but I think it's important, and uh, that's my choice, right? My right, my choice. So let's talk about my favorite holster. Now, I've reviewed this holster before. I have this for the 1911. I have this for my uh, Breda 92 clone by Gerson, and I tried to get it for the G2C. They don't make it for the G2C. So my first and foremost, the thing I love most about this holster is the fact that it attaches to your belt with these huge snaps. Uh, very durable, and the way that they snap is they wrap all the way around the back of your belt 
come all the way around the front, not the bottom, but all the way around the front to the top and snap closed. This isn't gonna come off. I like that it, it holds your firearm at a really nice width, and this, for my body, contours really nicely around my, <laughs> around the back of my, my left coconut and my hip. So this can be worn, you know, in, for my purposes, extremely comfortable. When I sit down, depending on you know where I'm at kind of on the hip, I generally will wear it sort of off to the back. If I'm sitting somewhere in my office like this, I can move this all the way to the back where I'm not kind of pushing back into the chair. If I'm, let's say, in the car, I can kind of move it a little bit more forward where the leather is not being uh, affected as much. And I've mentioned it before. Again, guys, you may have different opinions on how you carry. You may be like, I need the, the perfect, you know, you guys might be die hard and might need the perfect holster for perfect tactical purposes and blah, 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 right? Great. You do you. For me, I do care if I put a big rip in my leather. So uh, I want something that's going to be able to be somewhat functional, somewhat comfortable, but also not damage my property, right? I've taken uh, 20, 20, 25 years uh, babying my vehicles, and I'm not trying to put a hole in the leather because I want to start carrying a gun, right? So, again, these are all things to think about. You know, if you have a really expensive car, you know, let's say you went out and just got a, you know, brand new Mercedes Benz at $80,000. You know, I don't think you're going to want the back of a firearm digging into your leather, especially being a brand new car. As you get older, you might you know, lighten up a little bit, but for me, purpose, for my for my purposes, I don't ever lighten up. I'm trying to take care of my stuff. So that's a factor. So it's, again, something you may not think about when you first start carrying, but something that might come up, right? You might realize that, oh man, look at the scratch I put in my leather. So just kind of keep that in mind. This is why I like this holster. Um, and again, you know, like I said, the snaps are really the main feature. And the reason why I like the snap so much, because sometimes, you know, if I'm at home working on my computer, like I'm doing now, I, I don't really want the firearm on my hip. I just might want it on my desk, right? There are times where I don't want to take it off. With this, it makes it very easy to pop this off without having to undo my belt and all that stuff, right? So really easy. So let me just demonstrate here uh, how easy this is to put on. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put the firearm in the holster right now. Um, now, remember, this is a holster for a CZ-75. So if you have the SAR-2000, you can order the CZ-75, the standard version, right from Kraft, and be able to get this holster for your SAR. Uh, and, you know, like I said, a lot of companies don't make holsters specifically for certain firearms, right? Especially a lot of these Turkish companies. So just kind of keep that in mind. There are options for you. So, again, my belt, because I have no butt, and we're going <laughs> to... Sorry, this is, this is the case. You guys need to know. Uh, and I, I use myself an example like this because these holster, you know, these reviews aren't just about sharing the cool holster with you guys and the product and how much I like it, but to also give you guys some ideas on things to think about when making a purchase, right? So I don't have a butt. I mean, I, I don't, I have two coconuts back there. And it's really difficult for me to not have my pants kind of constantly sagging down a little. So I'm constantly, you know, I cinch up on my belt. If you haven't checked out ratcheting belts, they definitely help. Um, but it is what it is, right? So when you add the weight of a firearm, it definitely starts to pull down the pants a little bit more. Having this, these so wide, especially on a full frame gun like this, um, it definitely helps kind of balance that load. And here's how easy this is to put on. Uh, without having to pop my belt off, you know, I mean, you are twisting, of course, so it's going to be, I guess, easy as subjective. But for me, I've kind of gotten in the habit of being able to put this on with relative ease. Pop it on the hip and you're good to go. Um, the cant is perfect on it. What I like about the cant as well is that, like I mentioned, when I'm getting into the car, you know, I don't want this digging into the seat. So with this, I generally will move it just a little bit forward like so, and it just doesn't dig into the seat as much. Um, even sitting at, at home, like whether I'm on the couch or whether I'm you know, in front of my computer, this is a holster I don't really have to take off because it's not like digging into the chair. Some holsters, if they're kind of positioned where the gun is you know, uh, pointing, uh, I guess kind of like if it's hanging a little bit lower based on the position, whether it's a high ride or a lower ride, um, you know, it'll dig into the chair, right? And kind of pull up on your pants. So comfort for me personally is a big deal when carrying a firearm. So this for me, like I said, I've reviewed about now 9, 10, 11 holsters rated by Kraft. This is my go-to and any firearm that I get in the future, um, I will always reach out to them and want to do a video on this holster for this gun. So um, the other reason with this is again, with the SARS, you're not going to find a lot of holsters specifically for the SAR 2000. So 
if you, if you have this gun, you want a really nice high quality leather holster, check them out. Click the link in the description. 99 bucks will get you this either in brown or black. Get it monogrammed like I did. I got cat on mine. I'll show you that in a second. But um, this is going to work great for you and it'll work for your SAR. I would think that if uh, you have any other, I don't know who else makes CZ75 clones, but um, you know, uh, just it'll you know, most likely fit. What I always recommend, and watch how easy this is, what I always recommend, there you go. Now you come home, sit down, you don't have to worry about taking off your belt. Very easy to remove. Um, and, and like I said, they're, it's, they're super secure. I mean, some folks might say, oh, a buckle, a button, a buckle. I don't know, not a buckle, a snap. I don't know about that. It's the way that's designed. Remember, it's not, when you have this on your belt, the weight, because this wraps around so far, it's, you're not, this isn't gonna fall off. Now, if you accidentally unsnap it, you know, but even then, it's still wrapped around the bottom of the holster. So, it's just a great design. And I'm sure other people make stuff like this or other, um, I'm sure other companies, but this is my go-to. I can't say enough good things about this holster. Um, I like it so much, it's almost like I'm like, man, maybe I get one in brown too. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of, they do have a custom department, so they can do whatever you want. So, pretty awesome, pretty amazing holster. Um, definitely something to consider. Uh, now, anything, now, one thing I've noted on a couple of these holsters before, um, anything with a hammer, just kind of keep in mind, sometimes, depending on which one you get, it may seem like this doesn't really fit all that well. Um, I think that what they tried to do here is just basically allow this to, to cover the, the hammer, um, you know, the best they could. A hammer is just kind of a, you know, an odd shape, right? So unless you want to make the thumb brake kind of come around the back of the hammer, which I've seen uh, done before. Uh, I've also had other holsters that I've purchased off Amazon over the years, stuff like that. that I've actually cut this to wrap perfectly around the back of the hammer uh, because sometimes you'll get one of these and I'm not saying by craft, but it might not be able to snap. And some of them are designed to be carried with the hammer back, right? And then be buckled. So this is not one of these holsters. If you try to carry with the hammer back, it just doesn't snap. So this is how I like to carry it, you know, hammer down, uh, nice and secure with an, another one of those snaps. You know, this is very secure, very safe. So uh, just a great holster, amazing. Uh, I mean, I can't, I can't say enough good things about this holster. For me personally, for my body type, uh, it is the most comfortable holster that I've been that I've been able to find, and I, it's definitely, like I said, my go-to. Now, as far as the um, you know specifics, uh, what I want you guys to do is just click the link and, and check it out for yourself. But Craft's website is amazing as well. They'll give you a very short and sweet description, but they're going to hit the main the main features. It's an OWB outside the waistband pancake holster. Holster it keeps it really close to your body, which is what I like. Which is why I don't really like the paddle holsters. They really kind of make the gun stick out further. And let's face it, if you wear fitted clothes, you're you're not gonna. There's no point in trying to hide a gun under a shirt that's fit contour to your body and bulging out on the side. You know. I mean, this looks ridiculous. So I think outside the waistband is perfect. Uh, it has the open top design. It is available left or right hand. The, the color leather, black or mahogany, they call it. Sometimes you got to watch out with craft. Sometimes they're 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 going to have brown and then mahogany. So they have brown, mahogany, and leather. This is the mahogany and the black option. Uh, has a thumb brake and five year warranty. I've said it in many videos. I'm not trying not to ramble on too much here. Craft takes care of their customers. If you have any issues, they're gonna take care of you. I, I've had an issue with one holster before. They remade it. They made the holster three times to get it right. So uh, definitely a company who cares about their customers and cares. They don't wanna just sell you one holster. The, guys, guys who collect guns or a lot of guys who like guns tend to want more, right? I mean, we are obsessive about our toys. and. Craft wants to sell you a holster for your gun now, your gun you're going to get next week, the gun after that next month, and just down the road. So I personally, even though I know when I do these videos, you guys are like, well, you know, Fat Cat, you're getting this for, for free. I understand that. But I do have other holsters I buy. I've had other leather holsters I've picked up on Amazon. I've had Kydex. Um, I think it's good to have a nice variety. You know, I'm not saying don't get your Kydex, but... I think that there are times where I want to wear a Kydex and times where I prefer leather. Most of the time I prefer leather. I think the only time I, I'll wear a Kydex is if I'm inside the waistband. Although it is uncomfortable inside the waistband, it allows you to really pull the gun out a lot quicker if you have to with ease because it, it retains that shape. Not saying leather doesn't, but this has been my personal preference. you got to find one that's going to work best for you. But I think if you're looking for based on my experience and stuff, if you want a standard carry style outside the waistband on the hip holster, 
look no further. This is your go-to. I, I don't think you'll like any of the other holsters as much as you'll like this one. Uh, now, again, it is personal preference. So if you know you order it, you don't like it. Um, I I don't I forget the return policy on it, but um, I'm pretty sure. If you do have that concern, I should know that, but if you do have that concern, pro let me know prior to you ordering and I'll get you an answer and make sure that if you get it, you don't like it, uh, if you have any kind of recourse. You may not, I'm not really sure, but um, a lot of people aren't really too concerned because their, their website allows you to, I mean, a picture is worth a thousand words and I know a lot of times you guys are like, oh, you don't show the holster all that much. Well, why do I need to show you the holster throughout the entire video, uh, even though there are going to be pictures popping up here, you know, but, um, you know, go to their website. They have super professional photos. You can see the, the holster from every angle. And what I like about Kraft is that on most of their holsters, they actually have a video. I forget the gentleman's name, the guy with the, bra the braided beard. Uh, he gives you specifics and shows you the holster kind of like I do. So definitely check out Kraft. If you have any questions, let me know. Links are always in the description. If I can help in any way, I'm always here to help you guys out. Uh, sometimes it just takes, sometimes when you guys ask me questions, it just takes, believe it, I'm flattered a lot of times because you guys are like, well, what do you think about this? And a lot of times I, you're just looking for my opinion, which really, um, you know, ultimately you should make a decision to purchase up based on your own, your own feelings. But I, I am flattered you guys do value what I have to say about these products. And I, I'm always honest with my reviews on this stuff. Uh, you know, this is, uh, there. I have other, like I said, I have other holsters. It'd be one thing if I got holsters from Kraft and then I'm like, oh, well, I'm carrying Kydex every day. I don't. This is my go-to. These are the holsters I wear. Every now and then, you will see a Kydex holster. You will see another, if there's something I'm doing, it's like, let's say it's, you know, be honest, be honest with you guys, like, a lot of the leather holsters I got in the beginning was before I collaborated with Kraft. Now it's like Kraft is my go-to. And there is a difference. When you are looking at leather holsters on Amazon for $27, bucks, they are like the leather is like a third to a half the size of the th or the thickness of the leather you get with these. Like I said, these are almost duty quality holsters, if not duty quality or duty grade, if I'm saying that right. Um, you're not going to be disappointed. So... Anyway, folks, that's it. That's my spiel. Check them out. Let me know if I can help. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Kraft. Have a wonderful day. Take care.